For today's software engineering interview, design a system to handle likes for an application like Twitter. Okay, when a user likes a tweet, it'll first send a request to our backend, which is a Spring application hosted on ECS Fargate so we can scale horizontally. Now, when we want to write to our database, we're just going to open a new connection to our Postgres database and update the post with the new like. So you open a new database connection for each request? That sounds like it would add a lot of latency. You're right. Within our ECS Fargate container, we can open up a connection pool of connections that are always open to our database. Then when we want to write to the database, we can just grab one of these existing connections and write to the database so we don't have to open up a new connection every time we want to write. So what if each container opens up 10 different connections? That sounds like it would still overload the database. Okay, you bring up a good point. We're going to have to move the connection pool to the server side. We can use something like RDS plus an RDS proxy connection pool so all our ECS containers can actually get connection pools for the same RDS instance here without having multiple which can overload our database. Okay, that sounds a lot better, but what if I still wanted lower latency on writes? If you want even lower latency, we're going to have to make some trade-offs. By moving to a no SQL database, like DynamoDB, we can trade away our strong consistency in exchange for lower latency. 